a gnat is in there. I'll just have to wait for it to die, and then maybe I can shake it out through a crack in the side. <laughs> All right guys, so while I'm waiting on the ZR1 to get back from the frame shop, I thought I'd go ahead and do some of the stuff that I can do without the car here. And one of those is getting the headlights uh, the way we want them. So this is the side of the vet that the headlight was had the broken tabs on. We flip it over here. You see it's busted right here, here here so every tab is broken off of this thing and I actually do have two of the, the tabs that came with it but not all three of them so I thought well the best thing to do would be just to go ahead and find another headlight and um, man this thing is like in perfect condition on the top I mean it's like the lens is totally clear and it's just really nice so I went ahead and ordered one from eBay it was a used headlight so I have not opened it yet and I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but these lenses can be changed on these headlights. So I'm sure the one that I ordered is not anywhere near as good as this one. So if it's bad, we'll just take off this top part of the good headlight and put it on this older one. And the back, the, I know the bottom of the one I just ordered has got all the tabs and everything. So we might have to strip the guts out of it and replace the lenses on them or what we'll look. We'll see what we're doing here when we look at it. All right, so here we see the new one I just got in, the used one I just got in, and it's really not bad either. Um, <laughs> but it does have a little bit of stuff like inside it. Like I wonder if somebody's changed this lens before. So you can see like a little bit of, like a little speck of black dirt or something inside there. The bottom side, all the tabs are there. It's just dirty. If it's been this is from an older model it had more miles on it or what but it is definitely dirty but we've got our tabs and this one looks like it was not bent in the shipping so i'll pull that out and straighten it and see how nice and clean this one is underneath now that one's all kind of corroded so we'll probably just put the guts from my good one in this one and just use the case so I'll just kind of run through that and show you what I've learned just by doing some research on it. First thing we got to do is take all the, the electronic stuff out of it so nothing gets uh, hurt by the heat because we're going to have to use a heat gun to get it soft around the edges to get the lens off. Okay, so here's where I'm at so far. We got everything unhooked. Still got to take this piece out here, which might be the, I think it's a bulb. And um, pull all the wires out just so they're not getting in our way when we pull that center piece out. Had a lot of trouble with these. I'm not sure what that's connected to on the inside. We'll have to see once we get it apart with this, that's done, but. That's so far as that's the biggest part I see is the problem. So we'll see when we get in there what that did. All right, so got this top off. And those pieces that I was talking about underneath the little bolts that wouldn't come off. You look through here, here's what they are. They're the pieces that go inside these in the research that I've done, most people say these snap off. So we do have one that snapped off, but we don't really need those anyway because we're gonna be using the lens from our newer headlight. So all we really need is this bottom. So the big trick is gonna be getting those off of the newer headlight. I've already got one nut off. If you can get the nut off, you're okay. It's just when the whole thing starts to twist and this, this big 
uh, screw right here tends to snap off these uh, little female connectors in there. So, so next big trick is to get all this sealant off. So we need to heat heat this back up. And that was I'm not joking. That was a job trying to get that that lens off of there. So it's going to be hard to get it off of the other one without tearing stuff up. Hey guys, it's time to pick a winner for this week's t-shirt contest giveaway. All you had to do to be entered into win was just comment it's done in last week's video. Um, we had nine people that did that it looks like. So heading on over to our uh, random comment picker. Let's hit start and let that generate the amount of uh, comments and pick our winner for us. Looks like our winner is MJ Brock. He commented done. I love watching it come back to life. Love the content. Uh, thank you sir, appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, just send us an email with your uh, information. And we'll get a t-shirt sent out to you. Congratulations. All right, so I worked probably 30 minutes or so maybe. I would heat a little bit and then take the screwdriver right here and scrape. And I got from here all the way around to here so far in 30 minutes or so. So I've got at least another 30 or 40 minutes of heating and peeling trying to get this out. I mean, it is stuck. If anybody's ever tried to get like windshield adhesive off or something like that. That's kind of what this stuff feels like. And I mean, it is tough. All right, so I finally got all that adhesive off of there. <laughs> and that took a while. So I got it cleaned out so we can put this piece aside for now. And then here's the piece that we've got to remove next. We gotta get this lens off and <clears throat> I went ahead and decided there is a, uh, you know I know you'll never be able to see it on here but there's a few little bitty scuffs on here I don't know if you can see it in the light there like just a few little light scuffs they would probably buff out but I went ahead and just ordered new lenses um, because I don't want to go through all this trouble of replacing these and then have even a little scratch or something that I can't get buffed out later. So it wasn't that expensive to get two more. So I just went ahead and they come in pairs. I ordered those and I don't think the other side will have to be replaced. But anyway, so, but I still have to get this off so that I can get to this white uh, piece in here. We have to get it out of this lens without tearing it up. And I finally got the second one off and it did not turn out well. Ended up breaking this tab right here and another one of these broke off even though I had the bolt out. So that's no good. So the first one I took off is ended up being a better shape than the newer one. So I don't have any breaks in here. The only thing I've got is this one stud, which I'm going to epoxy back on like that. And since this is an old one, I might go ahead and change this lens out. This is from this newer one. They're just screwed on there. So that one might have a little yellowing to it. I'm going to get rid of that. Take this all out and then make sure everything's, there's nothing else broke on it before I start epoxying it. Okay, so I've got that removed from the lens. And check out, you can tell really when you take that out how much wow. sun damage is on that lens. That you couldn't really see when it was on. So... We had on replacing the lenses. Cause I'm sure that other one's got somewhat some of that. So, so when I was working on these headlights and I heard this big commotion going on outside. And there's this huge flock. Or is it a gaggle? Or a team or I think those are Canadian geese I'll try to sneak down there see how many of them there are but there are a bunch down there anyway that's our nature view of the day all right so I'm back from the nature break and last time I left you guys and we were working on this is I was about ready to epoxy this piece on and I did get that Epoxied on, it's good and solid. And I got these uh, little screws all back in where they need to be. So this piece is no has no issues at all. 
um, now. And I went ahead and replaced this lens up here with the newer one. So this thing is ready to go back together. And I did get the new uh, lenses in. Well, they are, or if one of them is. So we'll flip this thing over, put it in there and get it bolted in after I clean it really good, make sure there's no dust or little pieces of black stuff in there. Before I do any more with these, uh, with the lenses, this may be a little overkill, but this older one that I bought used is pretty filthy in here. I mean, it's got dust and crud, and if you put that new lens on and turn it upside down, some of these little pieces of the old sealant and all that other junk could get up there in the lens and make it look really bad. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and tear all this out, unscrew these, um, the actual light pieces and the wiring get it out of there and um, wash this thing I mean like really good with and scrub it with a brush and, and water and get it all totally clean so it cannot have any junk that gets up in the new lens part so we'll see what it looks like So all that is off. You can see how much crud is down in there that could get up above the lens. So put it in some, as Chris Fix says, soapy water. And uh, let it soak a little while and scrub it with a brush. So we can now start going back together with everything. All the repair work is done. Let's put it back together. And I'm gonna use the uh, guts out of the the newer one that was off, is off the bed that we have because I know that bed only has 11,000 miles. None of this stuff could have been used very much. So I'll take those guts out and put them in this light. Everything is transferred over, so this thing is now trash. So let's go get the lens and uh, kind of dry fit it and make sure everything lines up right before we actually squirt any of this stuff. Just window weld, super fast urethane. And I think once you stick that in there, there's no getting it back off. So we want to make sure it, uh, it's all going to be right. So we've got it all in there and I've got, went through three pairs of gloves and still got it all over my hands. This stuff just gets everywhere. But I've got it tight in there and all the nuts back on. Um, and I've taped it down tight to let it, make sure that Gorilla Tape holds it overnight. And I think all the black stuff I got on everything is just on this protective covering. So if it isn't, I'll get it cleaned off tomorrow, but still got the, covering on there so a gnat is in there I'll just have to wait for it to die and then maybe I can shake it out through a crack in the side or something <laughs> come on come on find your way out little fellow come on find the crack go go out What are you stopping now for? Come on, you're going towards a crack. Obviously he's a confused gnat. Well, it's the next day and I see no signs of our gnat friend. So he must have packed up and left somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, 
protective film over the top and make sure we don't see any urethane stuck to the lens. And then we got one less thing to put on and that's these little gaskets. And this should be a complete project. Okay, so here we have the completed headlight. So the question I'm asking myself is, was that worth it? Because that took, I don't know, several hours uh, over several days of getting that thing tore apart and put back together and not having the confidence that I was not, that I was gonna not tear something up like all the pieces and parts from the other headlight. I just happened to not tear up enough stuff between the two of them to make one good one with nothing torn up on. <laughs> so if you're just doing this and you just have one headlight and you just want to like paint the interior or something, there's a big risk that you're going to uh, crack or break something taking that apart. So I bought the headlight, the used headlight for $190 and I had to spend 20 on these new gaskets, 50 on the lens, 20 for the sealant. Um, so you're getting close to $300 or so and, and all the labor that you spent, that I spent putting it back together. I could have probably bought a really nice new or used one for 700, six or 700. So I probably saved half by doing it myself. So I'd say it's probably worth it. Um, anyway, I, <laughs> I still haven't tested either one of the, there's the one, the, the original one from the other side that came on the vet and then here's this one I have not tested either one of them so hopefully they work <laughs> I have to get it all put back together <laughs> and I still have all the guts left that are good from one of the headlights so if I have problems um, this stuff that's inside that's sealed there's not it's really just lenses so everything that could tear up is from the back side you can still reach it from the back of the headlight so here's another piece I'm gonna work on while I'm waiting on the uh, Corvette to come back from the frame shop. So this is the original piece off the, the vet. Here's one I found, it's a used one. It's still in good shape. You can see that the, uh, hello Finn, the old, the one off the vet, the smash vet had this velvet stuff glued to it. And this new one, you can see where it's been worn right here, did not have that. So I don't know if that was a ZR1 thing or something from a different year whatever but I'm gonna heat this up and try to go ahead and get it put on this one and then the uh, the one I just bought the bolts are kind of uh, well not rusty but they're just they don't look the greatest for this one you know it's 11,000 mile car these bolts all are still really good so I'm gonna replace put the one from my vet onto this new piece, get these older bolts out and get that little velvet piece put on there, clean everything up really good. So this will be ready to just put on when I get the vet back. All right, so I went ahead and found all of the plastic pieces that I could. I think it's everything for the Corvette. I went ahead and washed them all and cleaned them and let them dry out here in the sun. And then I'll put this piece back together with the with its other piece, and then I'll probably clean them all up with some uh, protectant stuff. McGuire's Natural is what I usually use, and make sure they're all nice and clean. And I'll put them inside so they won't get it dusty before the vet gets back. And that'll be one less thing we have to do. So I've got all this stuff clean and I went ahead and heated up this piece of velvet off the old smashed piece, took it off and it glued right, I just put it right on there and just stuck right to the new one. So that's done. So now we'll go ahead and install this piece here on the new one and use the bolts from my Corvette. And there we go, it looks brand new. So it can be put on the vet as soon as it gets back. 
That's one last thing we gotta do. All the plastics are ready. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Rebuild It, which I'm gonna call an in between episode because it's not really uh, doing a lot of work other than waiting around for the ZR1 to come back from the frame shop and waiting on uh, titles and stuff to come back from the state. But we did hope you enjoyed it because uh, we did get a few things done that we'll get to use when we get the ZR1 back. So uh, if you did enjoy it, like us and subscribe and turn on your post notifications by clicking the bell down there. And follow us on Instagram where we do a lot of sneak peeks and information about future projects where you can kind of give your input. And uh, until then, I'm just kind of waiting around for other stuff to happen. So I think I'm going to take up some solitaire. I've never played that before. Or I could do something with these headlight parts, like make a monocle or spyglass. Anyway, we'll see you on the next episode, and thanks again for watching. And always remember, don't retire it if you can rebuild it. See you guys next week. Give me five. Good job. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in and watching this week's episode of Rebuild It. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Have a good one.